it's Fjurstra, and I'm back with a small tip for those of you who already tried to use mouse support on iPads. And if you have already or if you're curious about it, it's a really, a really good addition. Finally, Apple has added it. Please check out my video specifically about that one and also the other video specifically about the Magic Mouse. But there's a third video that I wanted to make just about one setting. One of the cool features right now in iPadOS with this circle, this circular cursor, is that the circle turns into a button once you reach a button like magnetically and that it's very fun it's really very nice aesthetically and it's very pleasing as well that kind of animation same with it with dock over here uh, really fun but honestly it's for me it's very hard to get used to uh, i mean i'm not sure like when will i get out of this button okay i'm finally out of it so that's for me personally um, my own opinion now if you want to turn it off if you maybe gave up already on mouse support because of that uh, you can turn it off. Just go to accessibility, then go to pointer control. I'll show you over here pointer control. And then you have pointer animations. Just turn that off. And the consequence of that is if you go down to any button, the button, wait a minute, the button will be highlighted, but your circle will still be visible. And that is way more easy to use in my opinion. So now your mouse really acts like a mouse, like like a normal mouse on a computer except it's not pointy, it's a circle. Now if you go to a website and you want to select something, let's uh, take this for now, then your circle still turns, of course, into a uh, text cursor, but that's all that happens. All the rest just stays the way you expect it to work as, I mean, like for a normal mouse. So that's just one quick tip that I want to show you. All the rest you can find in my separate videos about the Magic Mouse 2 and about general mouse support in iPadOS 13.4. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.